Today marks the end of your migrant journey and the start of your new life as an Irish citizen. Quran chapter number 9 verse number 29 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala orders the Muslims to kill the Christians, Jews and if they do not surrender then they have to pay jizya. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala orders the Muslims to kill the Christians, Jews and if they do not surrender then they have to pay jizya. Ireland welcome. Yeah, one sec there, look, I'm just doing something here, I'm just looking for some jizya. It would be my look anyway. You know what I mean? Their name is out there on a show looking for jizya there, you know. Today's date, the 6th of the 6th, 2026, like that's the date, and I was in there a few times, like, but I'm all out of jizya, you know. I'm walking up and down the streets, they're baiting us with sticks and everything. You're not even allowed to walk on the footpath. You have to walk on the road and you know they're entitled to take your, your shoes off you and everything. That's what them names can do, like, you know. Read the Quran a couple of times and you're an name. But the moral of the story is anyway, Jazia, I have to have Jazia today or I won't be able to go outside the door again. And of course I'm broke from all the Jazia. In case you don't know what Jazia is, Jazia is where you have to pay up to stay living. If you're a Christian you now in your own country here in Ireland, well, if you haven't got Jazia by the year 2026 and plenty of it, well, you'll be getting battered up and down the road by, by Mohammed's boys, their names with big long sticks. And they'll be saying, pay up to Jizia for you and your children. Or we'll just batter you up and down the roads here in Ireland and take your shoes off you and make you walk the streets. Plus, just keep battering you with big long sticks. So, just anyone that might see this video, make sure if you're Irish lads, for the sake of it, you don't want your children getting hurt or anything, bring plenty Jizia with you. You know, just, just just so you can get on with your day here in in, Isl in Ireland, right? Just keep that in mind, Jazia. Now, watch the video here, lads, yeah? And do yourselves a favour and share this with everyone. Because the last thing you want to do now is run out of Jazia. You know, when you think of the people that died for us in this country and all that, like, you know, maybe didn't have enough Jazia at the time. So don't run out of Jazia for your own children's sake, okay? So just keep that in mind. I always have a monster pocket of Jazia ready for, for Humdulillah and Muhammad and them and his boys, right? So so with that said, let's sub up to the channel, share this video with everyone, by the way, and, and just remember Humdulillah all the way, yeah, Humdulillah all the way to the bank for the, the Jazia. Welcomes you and encourages you to contribute to your new country to help build our small but <laughs> great nation. Dan. is Dan Breen, a key figure in the Irish War of Independence. Dan was born in 1894 and grew up in Dunno Hill in County Tipperary. Dan was a member of the Irish Republican Brotherhood and the Irish Volunteers. Dan was involved in the very first ambush of the Irish War of Independence on the 21st of January 1919 in Salahed Beg, only a few miles away from Dan's home. And Dan Breen of the 3rd Tipperary Brigade was one of the most wanted men in Ireland during the Tan War. His book, My Fight for Irish Freedom, is a must read for everyone. He was born three years after Dan. Yeah. She was a member of Command the Man, active in other words. Oh, you did that. Anyone who comes into my house, to my country, and tries to take over by fault, I'm going to kill him, and I'll use that. Oh, you did that, boy. I'm going to give you the low down on them, and where they were. And you just went and rubbed them out. You were reported back. You didn't put it in writing. You reported back that they were gone. That's all. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala orders the Muslims to kill the Christians, Jews. And if they do not surrender, then they have to pay jizya. Christ the King there now lads. And this is the King of our law and this is the Gaggy Mountain Ridge you're looking at. There's so many in there on the hill. Fire the Mountain Get up all after the Gaggy Mountain by lads. Rebel country, this boy, rebel country, ban the country, ban the day, boy. The Galkey Mountains are the highest inland mountain range in Ireland, did you know that? 
You know what? Now, 